Hi, I'm Ume. I'm the Deputy Youth MP for Blackburn and Doreen. Hi, Ume. I'm John Roberts, uh, founder and chief exec of AO.com. I'm just going to ask you a few questions before I <laughs> Go for it. Where did you grow up, and if any, what challenges did you face as a young person? Uh, so I grew up in Bolton, and uh, I would say the biggest challenge that I faced was that I wasn't very academic, and I went to a school that was focused on being very academic. But when I look back at it, I'm very glad that I did, and my mum and dad gave me the opportunity to do that. Even though I didn't make the most of it from a grades point of view, it taught me a lot about work ethic and structure and discipline. Young people today face different challenges, a lot of which, a lot of very similar challenges, frankly, um, that manifest themselves, I think, in different ways as well. So, so digital didn't exist. Uh, you know, mobile phones didn't exist when I was at school. Social media didn't exist. Um, people get keyboard confidence, uh, and and they can hurt people in, in in ways that they maybe couldn't. They couldn't have the effect of amplification that they have now through things like social media and Twitter. I think the speed of communication uh, and the expectation of that speed, I think, removes some some innocence, and I think the. Uh, the availability of information, whatever that might be, whether uh, it's all the naughty things in life that you're finding out that you didn't used to find out as early and it wasn't as easy to find out. Uh, and uh, But I think the big things, you know, the, the, the big fundamentals are all the same, you know, it's about how you interact with your friends, uh, how you do, how you build confidence whether that's through sporting achievement, whether that's through academic achievement, whether that's through somebody giving you confidence, whatever it is. I think all those fundamental challenges uh, are still the same as they ever were, they just manifest themselves differently. Who inspired you as a young person and why? I think if there was one single person, it would be a guy called uh, Peter Hopkinson. He was an orphan boy from the North East uh, and he only had uh, one kidney and he was digging roads in Newcastle as an orphan and he managed, he had an amazingly colourful journey in life and he ended up build, starting his own business and he built it into the biggest kitchen and bathroom distributor in the UK and he sold it for millions and, and for me he was just the example of if you really work so hard and are prepared to do whatever it takes, uh, you can be anything you want to be. And just, you know, don't listen to all the dream stealers that are out there. How did you end up becoming one of the more successful and in, influ, influential businessmen in the UK? Uh, so I'm not sure that I am. <laughs> uh, but, um, uh, we built an amazing team, so we had a vision and, uh, and we united an amazing team of people uh, around it and one of, one of my favourite phrases is that true achievement is realised through the efforts of others and watching the satisfaction that all our people get out of what they do is just amazing and having the confidence to just let them do it uh, was a real sort of journey for me that uh, you know I, to my adopted brother in the business Steve Corns very much uh, beautifully guided me through it I wouldn't say that uh, I was uh, driving that journey he very much taught me how to do it uh, but uh, but it, you know, an amazing team of people you know one person in isolation achieves very little as you know I've recently been appointed Deputy Youth MP. Congratulations. <laughs> what qualities do you think make a good leader? Inspire people. So, so if you want to lead people, they need to have something to follow. So they need a vision to follow. Uh, and I would obsess about your actions. So I talked earlier about uh, being exceptional in the moments that matter. So how you act in those moments 
and often it's a contrary reaction. So when people are expecting to be shouted at, when that doesn't happen, it builds confidence. You want people, you need people to trust you if you're going to lead them, uh, because if you're going to take them into battle, whatever that battle is, they've got to trust. They've got to trust you. They've got to trust the vision. They've got to trust your belief in it. And you only build trust through your actions. And that's how people realize that they can really, really trust you. Uh, so how you act in those moments that matter uh, is absolutely everything. Knowing what you know now, what advice would you give your 16-year-old self? You know, it's difficult actually, because I wouldn't change a lot. Uh, you know, I've been really fortunate at how everything's played out, so I would worry about actually changing very much. But I, you know, I think it comes back to, you know, do something you love doing. I'm lucky enough that I do something I love doing every day. Um, and, and, and life is a journey. I think that, think about how you treat people and, and the impact that you have on people and, and respect that. And I think, you know, think a lot at the right time about the world should be a better place for the fact you were in it. So what have you contributed, not just what have you taken? But as a 16 year old, I don't think you particularly think too much always about that. Uh, so I think it would be something to bear in mind as I went. Uh, find something that you love doing, have fun on the journey, uh, and just be nice to people and manners cost nothing. Oh, thank you. <laughs> thank you very much, and good luck. <laughs>